We delivered on energy bills and on cutting national insurance. And we set out a vision for a low tax, high growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Well, for more, we're joined in studio now by France 24 senior reporter James Andre. James, good to have you with us again this morning. So talk us through it. What is the process? The candidates have until Monday afternoon to declare their intention to run. Absolutely. Monday, 2 p.m. is the deadline. Uh, by then, contenders have to have the backing of 100 MPs. That means there's a maximum of three possible contenders, given that indeed the Conservatives hold 357 seats at the Parliament. If there are three contenders, uh, well, then indeed one of them, the one who has the less support, will drop out automatically. Then there will be left with two. Once again, if there's only one contender, but it's done, of course. If there are two left, then uh, there is a vote, but which is unofficial, by MPs. One of the contenders could choose to step down, or else then there is a vote by the party members, and that is an online vote that will have to take place very rapidly, because once again, this Trust did promise a new Prime Minister by the end of next week. Who are the main contenders then? We've heard speculation already that perhaps Boris Johnson is considering making a comeback. Yes, absolutely. And actually, an MP uh, named uh, McCartney uh, was on Radio 4 this morning in the UK saying that he can believe that uh, indeed uh, Boris Johnson was uh, the party's best electoral asset, also saying that he believes that if he does stand, he will probably win. Now, of course, Others in, within the party consider that that's a very bad idea, that the party gate is not over uh, yet, and that, of course, uh, well, he could very well face a trial, Boris Johnson, for having uh, misled the MPs in Parliament. So that's one possibility. The one that has the favour of the bookies in the UK, and that, of course, is always something which is quite important, is Richie Sunak, who has 50% of betting odds at the moment. Now, Richie Sunak has not stepped up as a contender yet. Uh, as you know, he, he did was in the previous race um, against Liz Truss. He came in a close second, had more support by Conservative MPs than Liz Truss, but penultimately won uh, the party members' vote by 21,000. So that's a real possibility. Of course, there's also uh, Penny Mordown. Now, she is uh, the leader of uh, the Commons. She was also the first female defence secretary, and she stepped in for Liz Trust uh, last week at a, a snap question uh, at, in front of Parliament. And indeed, uh, well, she got, you know, good reviews. People thought she was rather uh, good and credible. So she is seen as another credible candidate. And then uh, there are other potential possibilities. One of them is Ben Wallace. Now, he said he was not going to run, but who knows? And then there is Suela Breverman. Now, she's the Home Secretary, the one who indeed stepped down uh, just a couple of days ago and putting uh, Liz Truss in greater difficulty than she already was in. And, uh, well, she's very white right wing, very anti-immigration. And, uh, well, she can appeal to the right wing part of the Conservative Party. We'll find out who's going to run for the leadership within the next couple of days. James, thanks so much for joining us. That's our senior reporter here at France 24, James Andre.